who doesn't love a cartoon? Censors, that's who. For over a century, cartoons have been delighting audiences young and old, and for almost just as long, censorship boards have been chasing after them with wagging fingers. Sometimes what the censors see is obvious, leaving us to wonder who in their right mind thought it'd be a good idea to put that in a cartoon. And other times, their decisions seem to make no sense at all. Here are 10 outrageous moments of censorship in popular cartoons. Family Guy. Despite being neither as clever as The Simpsons nor as offensive as South Park, Family Guy nicely fills the space between those two shows. A couple of episodes have been banned in the past, but in those cases, the episodes were never even made. Fox turned them down outright, and that was that. However, that doesn't mean that the animators don't have strong feelings about censorship rules. They aired their grievances in the episode PTV, which follows Peter's quest to run a censorship-free TV network after the FCC starts cracking down too hard on other stations. The agency gets wind of Peter's project and heavily censors it. Then things begin to spiral out of control as they start to censor all the citizens of Quahog in their private lives. Though nothing about the episode was ever actually censored, it sharply pointed out how censorship can go too far and end up making things seem more risque than they actually are. And for that, we had to give it a nod in this list. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Chances are, if you were born in the last 40 years or so, the heroes in a half shell were a part of your childhood. The cartoons and movies are pretty kid-friendly, but it's understandable that some parents might get hung up on the show's violence. However, when the original cartoon was released, Great Britain decided to take it a step further and play national parent with confusing results. The country's censorship board opted to change the show's name to Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles for no apparent reason. Furthermore, Michelangelo's nunchucks were replaced with a turtle-themed grappling hook, but none of the other turtles' weapons were changed. Now, sure, nunchucks can be dangerous, but not generally as dangerous as, I don't know, for example, Leonardo's razor-sharp katana? It was just a strange censorship job from start to finish. The Rescuers Disney's 1977 animated film The Rescuers is a good-natured tale of mice on a mission to rescue an orphaned boy from his abusive relatives. It's typical Disney fare for the time, G-rated and wholesome enough for the whole family. So imagine the surprise when someone noticed the tiny flash on their late 90s video release of the film that looked slightly out of place, and discovered that two frames had a photo of a topless woman pasted into the background. This sort of thing isn't totally unheard of, but what makes The Rescuers unique is how strangely Disney handled it. They announced the problem before there was any widespread knowledge of it, and implied that it may have been in the original theatrical release as well. They also said that an earlier 1992 release wasn't affected because it was made from a different print. To this day, nobody's really sure what the company was doing, but the censorship was probably still a good idea in any case. Sailor Moon Thailand is well known for making some odd censorship decisions. Fans of CBR know, for instance, that the country permanently banned all future Grand Theft Auto games after one man claimed GTA 4 inspired him to murder a cab driver. But, for sheer strangeness, this one has to take the cake. Sailor Moon isn't exactly what most people would call a sexually suggestive show. Sure, there are some short skirts and some brief sheer silhouettes of the Sailor Senshi during their transformation, but by and large, this is a show made to appeal to pre girls, heavy on friendship, true love, and cute outfits, light on the sex and violence. Thailand, though, apparently disagrees. The country once famously blurred out the main character's plain Jane Pink one-piece swimsuit in a particular episode, as though her bare arms and legs were enough to provoke controversy. According to online comments, Thai fans weren't exactly impressed either, but that was, nevertheless, the version of the episode they got. South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. Anyone who's even a little familiar with Matt Stone and Trey Parker's long-running cartoon series knows that it's no stranger to controversy. It pushes almost every envelope and gleefully offends just about anybody it can. Because this has always been the show's calling card, it actually hasn't been censored as much as some people might think. The people who broadcast it know exactly what to expect. Not so with the show's infamous feature film, South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. As Stone and Parker tell the story, the notoriously fickle MPAA wouldn't approve the movie's original name, South Park All Hell Breaks Loose, because of the word hell in the title. The creators knew that this was a bogus reason, so as revenge, they changed it to a penis joke that technically had no foul language in it. They were astonished when the MPAA approved it with no further ado. Peppa Pig Peppa Pig is a popular TV character for young children in Great Britain and elsewhere in the Commonwealth. 
Peppa and her friends and family have small, safe adventures that help teach children how to understand and appreciate the world around them. If we had to pick a winner for the least offensive cartoon ever, Peppa Pig would be a finalist. Even so, one episode of the show managed to earn a countrywide ban in Australia. The offending episode was all about a small black spider that Peppa meets. Though she's scared at first, she soon learns that the spider is harmless and befriends it. This is all well and good in the UK, where poisonous spiders are very rare. But in Australia, <laughs> they're a significant public health hazard. We can't blame the Aussies. Talk about sending the wrong message to kids. Steven Universe Cartoon Network's beloved series Steven Universe is a lot of things. It's wildly inventive, a creation of some of the same minds behind Adventure Time. It's whimsical and fantastical, with its own intricate lore to be learned and explored. And it's about as straight as a circle. The show explores gender identities and personality traits in a very gentle, non-sexualized way, with a cast of characters called gems who have very different traits, but can merge to become new gems with a surprising mixture of the traits from the previous two. This has been going on for a while now, with only a few ruffled feathers. But one episode was censored in Britain for a scene in which one female gem squeezes another in order to make the other's male partner jealous. Cartoon Network's UK censors were worried it might confuse children about parental roles, but by the same logic the whole show might very well do that. There doesn't seem to be any reason why this single episode should stand out. Dragon Ball Following the exploits of Son Goku from early childhood up to the cusp of adulthood, Dragon Ball is the gleeful action-adventure show that first introduced Son Goku to the world. Written for a Japanese audience, the show followed Japanese conventions for the time, using young Goku's innocent bouts of nudity and curiosity about other people's bodies as a source of gentle humor, and using female nudity for some slightly raunchier laughs. Needless to say, neither of those things fly very well on a children's cartoon in the West. The question early importers faced was not whether to censor Dragon Ball, but how. And the answer Answers? <laughs> They're pretty hilarious. Dragon Ball's original North American release abounds with everything from strategically placed leaves and branches to bizarre substitutions like swapping out a loose pair of women's underwear for a clip art image of some folded American money. The Simpsons. The Simpsons got as popular as it is by mastering a balancing act. It's satirical without being too grim, and edgy without pushing the envelope too far. However, one country's just right can end up being another's too far, as the show revealed in 2002. In the episode Blame It on Lisa, the Simpsons find themselves in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In typical Simpsons fashion, the city and its people are a rude parody of cultural cliches and stereotypes. However, Rio's tourism board didn't see it that way. The episode caused national uproar. The board claimed it was damaging to Rio's international reputation and announced it was planning a lawsuit against Fox for airing it. Eventually, someone told them about the First Amendment to the American Constitution, which protects parodies and satires, and they were forced to back off. But Fox still issued them an apology just to be safe. Pokemon Electric Soldier Porygon Some people who hear that episode name will already know exactly what it was and why it got banned. For everyone else, here's the short version. The episode didn't have any objectionable content, but it did include an animation that flashed bright red and blue lights very rapidly for a few seconds in a seemingly random pattern. That short sequence wreaked havoc on people with epileptic photosensitivity, hospitalizing nearly 700 viewers in Japan, some for as long as two weeks. Needless to say, the episode was yanked, and the show went on hiatus for a few months while the animators presumably checked to make sure they hadn't accidentally created any other visual time bombs. To this day, Electric Soldier Porygon has never been rebroadcast outside of Japan. So, what instances of cartoon censorship surprised or confused you? Ever see something that snuck past the censors? Ever wish they'd caught it? Or do you prefer to play along with the writers and animators? Give this video a thumbs up and tell us all about it in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to CBR for more outrageous videos about movies, comic books, cartoons, video games, and much, much more. 